so you guys i want to bring out this video on sharif o'neal just because i honestly haven't updated you guys on him in quite a while honestly ever since he transferred from ucla we all know he currently attends lsu and he's a sophomore right now about to enter his junior year and just recently lsu did lose in the second round in the ncaa tournament against michigan so this video i just want to go over sharif o'neal's college situation and also let's talk about his insane workout with his pops shaquille o'neal before I start this video, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at underscore the only Wallace and also go subscribe to my second channel called Ticket Wallace Vlogs. Now let's get to the video. So first thing first, let's talk about this workout. So just recently, Sharif was with his dad, Shaquille O'Neal, and they was in the gym working out together. Shaq honestly was on him. He made sure he was lifting all the weights. As you can see, Sharif O'Neal, he said, had me lifting the whole rack. So you already know, Shaquille O'Neal was not playing with him. Sharif O'Neal is in a really tough situation right now just because he has played about what two years in college his first year was a redshirt year just because of his heart surgery but basically his college years hasn't really been turning out good because he hasn't really been playing well and he also haven't been getting that many playing time and that's honestly why I feel like Shaq is going to be on him really really hard this offseason because he got to make sure Sharif O'Neal is going to be in a really good situation for his junior year it seems like he's going to be staying at LSU for his last two years in college or if he decide to stay one more year after that honestly i just want sharif to just get better get himself right so he can hurry up and enter the nba draft because i really thought that he was going to go one and done when he first committed to ucla before i even talk about ucla if you guys do not even know before sharif o'neal even committed to ucla he was committed to arizona but after the whole fbi situation that happened with javon currently and all them Sharif O'Neal decided to part ways from Arizona, then commit to UCLA. Then once that summer came around, that's when he found out he had that heart condition. Then he had to get heart surgery. And that's how he ended up registering his first year at UCLA. But then once his second year came around, he did play his actual freshman year at UCLA after his heart surgery. And he didn't get that much playing time. Sharif only played 13 games at UCLA. He averaged 10 minutes and also averaged two points nearly three rebounds shooting 32 field goal percentage and also shooting 33 percent from the three-point line and i just remember he just really wasn't having really really good feelings playing at ucla i think they changed like the entire coaching staff or something right after he got recruited to the school basically that red shirt year kind of messed him up because they changed a lot after that year so that's why sharif had to just relocate to a different school and he ended up going to the LSU. We all know the O'Neill family has really good connects at LSU. So that's why, you know, he decides to go towards that school. I know a lot of people right now is thinking, man, Sharif should have stayed at UCLA just because UCLA is doing really, really good. They about to play in the final four against Gonzaga and stuff. And honestly, I don't blame people for feeling like Sharif should have stayed at LSU. Not LSU, UCLA. Like I said, when he red shirted that year they changed up a lot of stuff when he was at ucla and he just wasn't rocking with it because his intentions committing to ucla after leaving arizona he wanted to be a starter right away he wanted to put up numbers and stuff honestly i feel like sharif o'neal really wanted to go one and done at ucla but once all that stuff happened it just changed so much then the new head coach wasn't playing him like that sharif honestly just felt like it was the best option for him because he knew his potential so let's talk about his LSU situation. Now, the reason why his sophomore year hasn't really turned out good at LSU, just because he was dealing with a lot of injuries. During the beginning of the season, he had an ankle injury that led him to sit out for a few games. He came back on December the 26th. They played against Nickel State. He played 11 minutes a game, three points, and he had four rebounds, right? So that game was an okay game for him. You know, he was just getting back from injury. Then right after that, on December the 29th, he suffered a foot injury in practice. And he has sat out for like a lot of games after that. For about seven or eight games. So now that he's about to enter his junior year, still at LSU, he has experienced a lot. He has learned a lot also. And you already know this offseason is going to be really, really important for him and his dad, Shaquille O'Neal, because Shaq is going to make sure Sharif ends up becoming that guy that we all expected him to become you know what i mean sharif is 6'10 225 pounds this man is big as i don't know what and it's crazy just watching their workout video because sharif looks small compared to his dad 
it's just so crazy how big Shaq is. This man is literally a giant. I met Shakir, which is Shaq's youngest son, right? I met Shakir in person, and Shakir is about 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Shakir is really, really big. I haven't met Sharif O'Neal yet, and Sharif is bigger than Shakir. And Shaq is bigger than both of them times three. So you already know, Shaq is humongous, yo. That is crazy. And he got Sharif just lifting all these weights. I really feel like this offseason, Sharif is definitely going to get way bigger, way more stronger. He's already really, really athletic. He's learned a lot throughout his sophomore year, like I said, and also playing at UCLA. So it's just like his junior year is going to be really, really important for him because now it's time for him to show the world what he's about as in scoring the ball more hopefully he can start the entire season Sharif O'Neal needs to start he can be a starting forward such as small forward or power forward you know what I mean he gets rebounds he know how to score multiple ways he got a good mid-range shot if he's open at the three-point line he can make a open three-point shot he can shoot off the dribble Sharif is really really a good talented player it's just he has to have the opportunity in the spotlight and he also got to play enough minutes throughout these past few years he has not been playing that much of minutes and Sharif is that type of guy he likes to play throughout the entire game he don't really like to sit out as in playing like two minutes and sitting out for about five minutes or gotta wait to the next quarter to play for another two minutes you know what I mean Sharif is not that type of player he likes to start he likes to be in a game for a long periods of time you know what I mean and he gets better he contributes a lot on offense and defense so i already know what sharif o'neal is about i used to make a lot of videos about him i just slowed down because i just been so focused on other guys and stuff but i just remember when he first committed to ucla after you know decommitted from arizona actually before he even committed to colleges and stuff i remember when he got snubbed from the mcdonald's all-american game and i was telling people like how did Sharif O'Neal get snubbed? He's really like that. Just imagine once he gets to college. This is before he had a heart surgery, right? And I was saying that he was going to go one and done. So at the end of the day, I still feel the same way about Sharif O'Neal. I just hope LSU let him be that starting forward or power forward and just let him do his thing. Because I guarantee you he's not going to disappoint. And Shaq is going to make sure he's not going to disappoint. Because, yo, just watching that video, Shaq was over here hitting his arm like, yo, get right you already know what time it is so this is going to be very very interesting i'm definitely going to be updating you guys more on sharif o'neal again because i'm very excited i can't wait for him to show the world what he's about we all know his friend josh christopher just recently entered the nba draft all of sharif o'neal's friends going to the nba and stuff so you already know he got a lot on his plate right now and he's ready to really put in that work so he can into the nba draft because it's long due for sharif o'neal that heart surgery really did push him back i really feel like if that didn't happen sharif would have been in the league right now but we just got to see what's going to happen i also have another video for shakira o'neal so stay tuned for that i thank you guys for watching if you make sure you like subscribe make sure you press the notifications button to your game we out You know what made oh, me mad? You remember? You remember when when we was playing when we was playing in Vegas and we played Tower Hero and them, and me and KJ was open and you went and dunked and it scratched your finger. Yeah, bro, I ripped my finger off. I still got the scar on my on my finger. And that's because you should have passed it. Bro, my fault, bro. I was just trying to shine like y'all, bro. That's a fact. But you know, but you know what happened? We played when we played Team Final. I threw you the oop, the no look oop. Oh God, the, bro. The people no didn't even people didn't even people were asleep on that team. Bro, they was really sleep, bro. Cause the Supreme team before that was good, but y'all wasn't really popping it though. Like, no, yes, y'all. Y'all was super was, fun to was, watch. Y'all were y'all were dumb on, bro. Watch. But y'all ain't win no chip though. You ain't got to do us like that, bro. But we won the chip, bro. But we still won. Y'all just didn't win it.